Hi guys, Hallie Happoween here. We are going to continue with unboxing the display box that I bought. Here it is. So you see we already did a few of them. And okay, let's open up one again. Let's see what we get today. Uh, let's open it here. Right, I'm very excited. Let's see. Ooh. So Sanctum, Brobnar and Mars. Dieter. Vagabond of the Infallible Solan. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm interested. Right, here we go. Let's remove that index card. Here we go. Let's flip and let's see what we've got. Okay, we start out with Sanctum. Okay, this is an artifact called Eye of Judgment with one amber, um, one free amber. And as an action, purge a creature from a discard pile with flavor text. Those with nothing to hide have nothing to fear. Wow, okay, this looks really nice actually. Um, so, yeah. There's an artifact that I haven't seen yet. Curious to see how it works. Okay, so purging from discard pile, pile always very good. Okay, then we've got an action. The harder they come. Play purge a creature with power 5 or higher. So that's also really nice. I think that's one from Call of the Archons, no? I remember that, I think. So let's put the artifact here, the actions over here, fine. And then we've got a smite. So play ready and fight with a friendly creature. Deal two damage to the attacked creature's neighbors. Okay, nice. That's nice. It's like uh, you had this uh, this knight and call the archons. I forgot her name. That uh, had a similar effect, right? All right, and we're back. Sorry, guys. I had to change the the battery of the camera. So okay, we've got we've got smite. All right, so we've got another smite, so that's nice. Ready and fight with a friendly creature, deal two damage to the attacked neighbors, attacked creature's neighbors. So that brings us with some, well, gives us some um, some board control, right? Okay, so let's see. Okay, here's our fir first creature. We've got a Sir Maros. It's a four power to armor creature that says after your opponent gains amber by reaping it, Sir Maros captures it. If your opponent gains amber by reaping, Sir Maros captured. So that's quite nasty. All right, so that's nice. We've got our first creature. Then we've got another action. Gives us an amber, shield of justice. Play for the remainder of the turn. Each friendly creature cannot be dealt damage. That's nice. That's one from Call of the Archons. Always very useful. Protect the weak. Gives an amber. It's an upgrade. And says that this creature gets plus one armor and gains taunt. That's nice. Okay, that's good. So that's an upgrade. I'm going to put it over here. We've got our next artifact, a Hallowed Shield. Choose a creature for the remainder of the turn. The chosen creature cannot be dealt damage. So that's similar to the Shield of Justice, right? So that's, that's okay, that's, well, it's okay. Let's see, we've got a creature, a Human Thief in Sanctum. That's rare. Borden the Redeemed. So um, it's an elusive creature with an action capture two. So that's nice. It's a nice addition to the Sanctum house to have this type of creature it's more like a it reminds me more of something like shadows right all right then we've got another action very action heavy it seems um gives you an amber choose a house you stun each creature of that house we know that card it's blinded light okay so that's another action and then we have obalt the grim with a four power one armor creature that has the playability capture three amber and reap discard one amber from obalt the grim this is very similar to um, the discard charrette, right? That also captures three amber, but this one has the ability to remove the amber from a botogram. So that can be really nasty. You can also remove the amber that you captured. But I think that's quite nice. All right, so, and then we have a bond, the armor smith, a three power creature that says other friendly creatures gets plus one gets plus one armor and as an action you can say that for the remainder of turn other friendly creatures get plus one armor so that's quite nice right you can you can buff your entire battle line basically okay so that's the last card for uh, sanctum i think the creatures are fine um typically i like to have uh, more creatures in sanctum but that's probably my uh, call of the archons logic that's speaking I think it's it's quite good. We've got one here that captures amber when your when your opponent is reaping. We've got another reap uh, capture ability, another capture ability, and here uh, we can buff our, our battle line. So overall, a lot of capture tactics. Then we here we have some uh, 
some possibilities with smite to um, to have some board control we've got the bl blinding light shield of justice and two nice uh, artifacts right so and this uh, taunts upgrade of course let's see how this uh, let's see what we got in the next house which is Mars okay so Action, Shatterstorm, play, lose all your Amber, then your opponent loses triple the amount of Amber of you lost this way. So this is a really awesome card, I think it's also called the Archons. I really love it, uh, and I've, I've used it a number of times in, uh, in very sticky situations. It's really fun to see uh, your opponent's reaction to that. <laughs> Alright, so then we've got a Brainstem Antenna. That's a good one, that's a really good upgrade. So that actually gives the creature, after you play a Mars creature, ready this creature. And for the remainder of the turn, it belongs to the house Mars. So that's really nice. You can do some really nasty things with that. So I have to see how this uh, how this combos and, and when playing. Okay, we've got, uh, looks like the Zookeeper, is that the same guy? Hmm. Looks a bit similar. So that's an upgrade, yeah action and then we've got Uxlix the zookeeper so this is a really nasty one so it's an elusive and says uh, it has a reap ability that says put an enemy creature into your archives if that creature leaves your archive it's put in the owner's hand instead but that's quite nasty right because if you give this brainstem antenna and you're reaping you can basically destroy the entire board so I think there's a lot of board control going on up to the up to this point Okay, we've got uh, sample collection. So there's also one that we know. So when you put, you can put an enemy creature into your archives for each key your opponent has forged. Same principle. So that's nice. We can put a lot of creatures in, uh, in the archive, apparently. Um, okay, this is this is a, a, a tough one. So um, this is six. This is six. Shock warm. Three uh, power, one armor. After an enemy creature reaps, stun it. And the flavor tags is he shocks more than just worms. That's just the name, Inca the Spider. <laughs> okay, so this is actually really nice. And um, there's a similar card in, um, in House This called Amber Imp, right? And that one says basically the same, but it doesn't have the enemy tag. And I think that's, I think that's really bad. I mean, this is really the thing that you want. You don't want to stun your own creatures. So that's, that's nice. All right. A Vesema Thinkron, you can reap and you may archive a friendly creature or artifact from play. That could be nice to combine with the uh, the, the artifact that we had here, right? Uh, this one, you could replay it uh, and get the Amber again. Don't know if that's a good play, but you could do that. Or you can, of course, um, yeah, archive one of your friendly creatures and maybe um, build up a really good hand. So that's nice. Okay. So then we've got a Tixel Beam Buckler, 4 power, 1 armor, play, deal 2 damage to a creature and move to either flank of its controller's battle line. So I have another deck where um, I've got two of these and I really like them, I think they're really um, a really good creature in House Mars because there are a lot of effects that allow you to um, buff your battle line or, well, battle line aware creatures that say okay my neighbors get this you have deploy abilities um, certain abilities that only work on a flank and so on are not on a flank so this is really powerful to have this type of creature okay then we've also got a sky booster squadron you can reap and you can return it to your hand that could be useful if we have something like a mother gun we'll see if we have that okay so we didn't have a lot of creatures in uh, sanctum but we're really making up for it in house mars so we've got a Mind Warper to power Elusive and the action is choose an enemy creature, it captures one from its own side, so we know that one. Uh, so you see we're building up quite a nice uh, number of creatures here for Mars. Um, then we have this action, Mars needs Amber. It gives you an Amber and says each damaged enemy non-Mars creature captures one Amber from their own side. So that's also really nice Amber control, I really like this type of Amber control. Not just straight up stealing stuff like with the old bait and switch, but this you have to do some effort you have to plan a little to to be able to do this so i like that okay and an x sixly an x sixly fix finger okay i've never seen this one before uh, a two power two armor creature elusive each other marching creature gets plus one armor so that's nice that's actually um similar to a baltic rim and sanctum so i think we can have some really strong um, battle lines with these with these creatures. 
Okay, and we, we just keep going on with the creatures. We also have a Collector Worm. So we have more abilities to archive. We already had the Uxlick Zookeeper here. And now we also have Collector Worm to our two power five armor. And when you fight, you can archive the creature that the Collector Worm fights. So that's also really nice. Okay, that's Brobnar already. So as you can see, we have a lot of Mars creatures going on here. Um, I actually really like it. Um, I think the Mars creatures are all really nice. I mean, we've got ways to archive for the Uxic Zookeeper, the Collector Worm. Um, then we can archive our own creature with the, with the Thing Drone. We've got ways to stun. We've got a Beam Buckler to mess up the battle line of the opponent. Um, this one is less interesting because we don't have any abilities like, for example, Mother Gun. But okay, it's fine. A Mind Warper and a Fixed Finger. So I think that's nice. Uh, we've got some really good stuff going on here. The brainstem antenna is a really nice upgrade. And then these actions, they're fine. They're only three, three, but uh, but it's fine. I think we have two ways to deal with uh, excessive amber gain on the opponent's side. So that's nice and more archiving power. All right, I'm actually, I'm really liking this deck up till now. So let's have a look at House Brobnar. Okay, so. We start out with this uh, six power creature, Mugwump. It's a giant and it says after an enemy creature is destroyed, fighting Mugwump, fully heal Mugwump and give it a plus one power counter. So that's really nice, so you can really keep fighting. Okay, you have this card called uh, Into the Fray and I think that's really powerful in combination with Mugwump. We'll, we'll see if we, we have it in here. So we've got Mugwump creature. A flame throw artifact that is some amazing art look at that they're so metal okay action deal one damage to a creature with one splash so that's really nice the uh, flavor text is the skulls were really hot at night <laughs> okay so i think that's nice that's really good um blood money plays two amber from the common supply on an enemy creature that's fine Okay, then we've got another action here, Tremor. You can stun a creature and each of its neighbors. We know that one, very good card. We've got another one, so we have a lot of ways to stun people. That's good. And now we have Grok. Have I seen this one? So it's a fight, your opponent loses one Amber. The flavor text, fierce as a Brutaton and about as sharp, says Livia the Elder. Isn't this really comparable with, uh, I think there was another um, Brobnar creature, also a five or six power creature, giant, that had a similar effect, no? Or it was maybe a play effect, when you play it your opponent loses one amber. I don't remember the name, but this is nice, right? So fight, your opponent loses one, that's good. We've got a Ganger Chieftain, that's nice, so you can ready and fight with the neighboring creature, very interesting to combine with, for example, Mugwump, you, you fight with Mugwump, then you play Ganger Chieftain, you fight again, and you can keep increasing it in power, so that's nice. Good, okay, then let's rearrange that a little bit here. Then we've got Foozle, 5 power, with a reap ability, if an enemy creature has been destroyed this turn, you gain one amber. Good, I like it, I like it, that's, that's a nice effect. Ooh, and now we've got a Drummer Knot, so we can return a friendly giant creature to your hand. Um, I don't know, maybe interesting in combination with Ganger Chieftain. Not necessarily with the other ones that we had, um, but definitely could be interesting with a Ganger Chieftain. Of course with a Brahmo, that's also nice. Uh, Brahmo is a 4 power, 1 armor creature with a playability, deal 2 damage to each of the enemy flank creatures. I really like it, I've got a deck with 3 Brahmos in it and that's <laughs> it can really be nuts in combination with a Drummer Knot. Um, Okay, now we also have Bingle Bang Bang. So it's a two power and before it fights, it deals five damage to each neighbor of the creature Bingle Bang Bang fights. With flavor text, boom. <laughs> okay, I like it, good one, nice card. And now we've got a one-two punch, gives you an amber and says play stun an enemy creature if that creature was already stunned, destroyed instead, which is really nice because we have two tremors. So that's uh, that's a nice combination. I think overall this Brobner house is fine. It's not like the crazy, crazy stuff that you can do, the key sheeting stuff, but I think overall quite some nice creatures. 
much more creature heavy. I really have the impression that Age of Ascension is much more creature heavy. But I like this set, I think it's a good one. Um, I also enjoy the actions and I think this uh, artifact is just nice for the flavor, a flamethrower. So overall I think this is quite a good deck. We'll, uh, we'll, have, to, we'll have to check it out. Um, but I will, get, I will keep you guys updated on how the deck plays. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.